Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. Today we will discuss how to plot the ROC curve in support vector machine in NINE. Support vector machine is a powerful and widely used machine learning algorithm that is used for both classification and regression problems. SVM is a discriminative algorithm that separates the data points into different classes by constructing a hyperplane or a set of hyperplanes in a high dimensional space. SVM works by finding the optimal hyperplane that maximizes the margin between the two classes with the margin being the distance between the hyperplane and the closest data point from each class. You can see here that we are having two classes indicated by plus and minus. We want to pass a plane which can, which can clearly differentiate between the two classes. This plane is known as a hyperplane. The distance between the two uh, points that is plus and minus, this distance is known as margin. And the points which are considered to draw the hyperplane are known as the support vectors. After carrying out the algorithm, it is necessary that we uh, check the accuracy of the model. For this, we are uh, generating the confusion matrix. So, say for example, our, pre our Original data consists of a person who are who are having a COVID and the kit also detected, the COVID kit also detected that yes, the person is having the COVID. So 50 are such cases where the kit worked successfully. In this case, the person is normal and the kit also detected that the person is not normal and that is 114 are such cases. So the success is 50 plus 114, 164. If we talk about this six cases, the person is normal, but the kid detected that the person is having a COVID. So this is a misclassification. Similarly, a person is having a COVID and the kid detected that the person is normal is again a misclassification. So 22 plus 6, 28 misclassification cases are there. So when we plot this thing, uh, let's, uh, let's plot this thing on ROC curve. So for this, we consider this to be true positive. Where the correct classification has been done 2894 true negative 11750 correct classification has been done but this is 643 and 994 643 and and this is 994 this one so this is misclassification so what is our classification accuracy summation of all green divided by summation of all green plus summation of pink so 289 one one seven five zero. This two total and divided by the total of all this four will give me the classification accuracy, which is 0.899. AOC is a measure of the overall performance of the classifier, which ranges from 0.5 to 1. The higher the AOC, the better is the classifier at distinguishing between the two classes. The accuracy of the test depends on how well the test separates the group being tested in those with and without the disease in the question. Accuracy is measured by the area under the ROC curve. An area of 1 represents a perfect test. An area of 0.5 represents a worthless test. A rough guide. If you get an AOC, area under the curve between the range of 0.90 to 1, excellent. 0.80 to 0.90, good. 0.70 to 0.80, fair. 0.60 to 0.70, poor. And 0.60 to 0.5 to 0.60, fail. A receiving app operating characteristics is a graphical representation of the performance of the binary classifier system, such as logistic regression, support vector machine, new bias, as, as its discrimination threshold is varied. The ROC curve plots the true positive rate against the false positive rate at various threshold settings. You can see here, the ideal curve is when we, uh, when we are having uh, the line which perfectly passes to the y-axis and then x-axis. This is this is the idealistic situation which we will never achieve. The diagonal line, this diagonal line is just a random guess. 50-50% percent, percent probability. Now any model should have at least something in between the idealistic situation and the random guess. So if we consider these two models, blue and red, the red model is better, is having more classification accuracy as, as, as area under the curve is more. Now let's see how we can draw the ROC in 9. So first of all, I will activate input output from here, read CSV reader. Double click on it. I'll browse the data set.
part one open click okay right click on it and execute now again right click on it and see the file table we want to do the classification of the heart disease on the basis of age resting blood pressure cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise so we will activate the column filter so that only those variables are selected which are necessary in our model right click on it and configure remove all other variables only include age resting blood pressure cholesterol maximum hours of exercise and heart disease click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the filtered table quite good now activate the partitioning of the data set we are activating this node because we want to partition the data into training and testing data set activate this as 80 percent and make this as a stratified sampling click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the first partition so this is the 80 percentage of the data set which will be used for training purpose click on the second partition so this is 20 percentage of the data which will be used for testing purpose now activate the support svm learner from here right click on it configure Make sure hard disk is on. Don't change the default settings unless and until it is required. These are the kernel settings required for uh, when you want to solve the complex problems or which require a higher dimension to solve it. Now execute. Wait a minute. Configure. Hard disk is OK. Right click on it and execute. It will take some time. Now, right click on it and view SVM view. Support vector machine does not create any equation just like linear regression or logistic regression. So, with this learner, now let's do the prediction. This predictor will get its learning from SVM learner, but it will get its data set from the partitioning, the remaining 20% of the data. Right click on it, configure, tick mark both these boxes, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classification. So this is the prediction which has been done according to the algorithm. And this is the original data set. Now we want to check how well the algorithm fit, uh, fits to the data. So for this, I'll activate the scorer. Right click on it and configure. Here, original data heart disease is activated. With you want to compare this with the prediction heart disease, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and view the confusion matrix. So you can see here 48 cases are such where the person does not have a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. 77 are such cases in which the person is having a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. 48 plus 77, 125 are correctly classified cases and the classification accuracy is 67%, which is considered to be not very good. If we talk about this 25 cases, a person is having a heart disease, but the algorithm predicted no. Here, a person does not have a heart disease, but the, but the algorithm predicted yes. So 34 plus 25, 59 are wrongly classified cases. Now let's plot the ROC curve for this. Connect SVM predictor with ROC curve, right click on it and configure. Now remove or rather take all the variables this side, activate the hard disease, yes, and compare this with the predictor. Click OK. We are getting cross here, no need to worry. Again, click on configure, go in general plot options, create image at port. Right click on it and execute.
right click on it and see the image so you can see this image and what is the area under this curve it's 0 0.763 so let's do the interpretation of this interpretation of EOC 0 0.763 we'll have to change here so 0 0.763 an EOC value of 0 0.763 in an ROC curve indicates that a support vector machine has a moderate level of discriminative power in distinguishing between positive and negative classes. Let's change it for here also 0 0.763. So an EOC of 0 0.76 suggests that the model does not have a very good ability to correctly classify positive instances as positive and negative instances as negative. In other words, the model predictions are just better than the random chance but there may be many misclassifications or overlaps between these two classes. So this is how you can plot the ROC curve uh, in new bias, uh, in new bias also and in support vector machine also. If you want to refer for new bias, kindly refer my previous video. You can also refer my previous video, uh, previous video for more videos on Nine. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and you can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.